Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing a redesign of our oval shaped tips with dip powder and applying a new spring design this weekend. For my following the subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below and click on that notification bell for future videos. I wanted to show you guys my last design because it I thought it was really cute how I unknowingly matched uh, the set together. There were instances where I tried to match the set but I really unintentionally didn't um, want to or even wasn't thinking about matching the hands together but my last uh, two previous spring designs um, just ended up coming out similar so I thought that I just realized two weeks later how cute that was <laughs> at any rate so what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna scrape off um, some of the bulkness of um, the dip powder that we did two weeks ago and I went from um, a coarse bit to my um, tornado bit just to get into the thick of these layers I'm making sure I file that down. I know that some of the design is still on here, you guys, but we're going to be covering this up. So I intend on um, applying this clear, um, crystal clear acrylic, as you see here. And um, I think I'm just gonna like gradually grow this design out until it's phased out and then I'll do a full removal of the dip powder. Um, I'm going for length and as you know my middle finger um, was trimmed down a lot so I'll have some time to go before that nail catches up with the rest of the group. So um, we're just gonna ride this dip powder out until that nail grows back. But this is fairly easy to do the infill. I applied my prep and a base coat layer. And I'm just using my cuticle pusher to scoop in some of this crystal clear acrylic powder by um, nail, um, Hand and Nail Harmony. Again, like I intend on doing acrylic nails um, at some point. But for now, I guess I'm just using them as dip. So this method is probably the quickest and easiest um, to do an infill. Um, it's not that um, as hard as you would think to level off dip powder. So if you have dip powder nails, um, it's just like applying a uh, nail polish uh, to the natural parts of your nail and just laying layering that up um, till you get kind of leveled out with the rest of the nail and then you can file it down to smooth it out. So here I am doing two coats of filling in and that's just as you see here applying the base coat on the entire nail but just pouring the acrylic on the exposed areas and again this is crystal clear so you're not going to see um, at least on your end uh, so much of a change and then I did one um, layer of a full coverage so you'll see that after after I do this um, and for me that's just to smooth it out a little so um, as you've seen previously I filed down a good amount of the bulkness so um, adding more layers like this won't make it too chunky I must say though that um, I honestly would rather start from scratch using dip so I you know, I said I'd just continue this fill-in until the that white design is phased out and my middle finger um, nail grows out. But it's really annoying to me, so I'm just going to have to, you know, work through it. Um, but yeah, I would prefer starting from scratch with dip powder. It makes a, a cleaner palette to work with. Um, especially when, if it's concerning the bulkiness, because I don't like too much bulk. I know we did bulk last 
time because I'm encapsulated um, the dried flowers but since you know now I'm not really doing much I'm just going to be putting a polished layer over this um, I really don't want to go for that thickness but there's just an automatic thickness when you do um, dip powders and I feel like it's harder to control that thickness um, but that's just me I feel like I can control thickness better with poly gels um, and hard gels so but yeah, so that was pretty much it. We did the two layers around the, the exposed natural nail, nail to fill in. And then one layer to cover the whole nail. And I'm going to speed this up and um, continue that technique for the rest of the nails. And after um, that is complete, I'm going to be... Uh, putting on the extra layers um, per instructions for this dip powder system we do a activator um, layer another base coat layer and I'll file it down I think it's pretty cool how that activator just hardens everything up um, and I'll show you later in this video how I feel like it helped my nail polish that I put on top of it dry a lot quicker. At any rate, so all oh, you guys, um, this past week had been super, super busy. And let me tell you that, let's just say one work day, I was so engulfed in what I was doing. Like I love to draw and I was, you know, I told you guys now that I... Um, design houses so that's super fun and I stayed up late one night to like four in the morning and I woke up at seven in the morning <laughs> um and it was a lot and uh, when I do that I mean you know when I was in college that's pretty much what the life was um for architecture students so it's not like I wasn't accustomed to it so I know like in my experiences, I don't feel um, exhausted until the next day. So the morning that I woke up at 7 a.m., um, I was good to go. I mean, just in case I had a little bit of Red Bull and um, I was golden. I even cleaned a lot um, <laughs> after work. So um, it was a little strange, but um, I think the age has changed my recovery a bit because I did feel it the next day, and then all weekend I felt super drained. Like I felt I did take a nap, um, and I just felt like I couldn't catch up with my sleep. So it kind of sucked. It's been a while since I've stayed up that late for work, um, but I mean it was fun. I liked it, so, <laughs> but unfortunately, like I said, this whole week had been so busy with work that I haven't been able to, I've been slowly catching up on everybody's videos and comments, so, um, thank you so much for being patient with me, I know that my OGs know that I always, always, always get back to them and watch their videos, and, um, it may not be today or tomorrow, <laughs> But I try to at least, you know, catch them all anywhere between a week to, you know, three weeks. I know that sounds terrible, but there's a lot of you guys and I love to support everybody. Um, so I slowly but sure, surely get there. So anyway, um, going back uh, into the filing, uh, filing, I'm manually filing now and this is pretty easy. This is the easy part because um, with dip, the dip powder system, it shapes so well that all I really need to do is um, file down my edges, making sure they're nice and crisp and to shape. And then I'm using my, um, my buffer now to just smooth everything out. So um, that's a perk of using the dip powder system. I mean, unless you apply the liquids completely crazy, um, you should be getting a decent um, finish at the end of, you know, dipping to where the filing isn't crazy. 
So per instructions, I'm applying a layer of activator and that will be it for um, this whole system. Now, um, today I'm going to be using one of my favorite um, nail polishes by um, Sally Hansen. This is Sally Hansen's uh, Miracle Gel and it's called Miss Wonderlust. It's like an orangey or a coral, I guess. Um, and it has these glitter specks in it. And I like how the glitters lay out on these. So sometimes when you get glitter in nail polish, um, it doesn't really lay down right. And you have to like apply it uh, in different ways to get the glitter to stay on. But you can apply this like any normal regular nail polish. And those glitters just glide on there and they stay on your nail so if you ever want to try that but i um am applying two coats of this making sure i get that tip um because we do have that white um design underneath and i just want to cover that up um but as i said before that this color is gonna pretty much cover what was on top of it so it's not a big deal i mean some of the dark dried flowers are shining through but it, it's not that bad so after I gave that a full dry I'm now applying some rhinestone glue and um, some top coat and I'm going to be placing these like um, what color are they supposed to be? I forget. Um, I used them for my, they were supposed to be ruby for my July birthstone design. Um, I think it was like garnet. I think they ended up being garnet, but it's like an iridescent garnet. So it, as you can see, it comes out looking kind of ruby, garnet, orangey. Um, but I thought that that color combo, like I, once I selected this nail polish, I knew right away I wanted to use these rhinestones for this design. So it's going to be fairly simple. Um, my accent nails, which are going to be the thumb and the ring finger, are just going to have this like swirly design of rhinestones going down the nail from largest to smallest. And then for the rest of the nails, I'm just going to have like a um, medium sized rhinestone in the middle and two smaller rhinestones flanking each side. So this is going to be very simple and elegant, but there's so much pop into this because there's the glitter in the nail polish. And then of course there's the um, bling in the rhinestone. And I'm loving the different colors that are coming off of this. Um, so, you know, what was one color of this nail polish is now an array of different colors because of the rhinestones and the glitter. I really like that kind of a thing, as you know, so I'm really loving this cute and uh, quick and easy design that I'm doing for you guys today. And it's definitely been um, at least two weeks since I've used, um, probably more than two weeks since I've used uh, some bling on my nails. So I'm really happy that <laughs> I'm able to switch it up and put some bling on it. But yeah, so even as I'm doing this voiceover, I am so exhausted. Like, I don't know when I'm going to catch up with this. Also, I didn't have coffee. I try not to have coffee on the weekends, especially since I did hit the Red Bull. Um, I guess it was Friday uh, morning. So um, I just feel super drained and... Um, I apologize if this voiceover is uh, less animated than my normal voiceovers, which aren't really that animated either. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing um, this coming week's 
uh, video. I'm going to be the, unless it rains, because I told you guys I'd be doing the acrylics outside because the monomer is so stinky. But as long as it doesn't rain, I'm going to be doing um, an acrylic uh, design next week. But here is the end result. I love, love, love the smoothness of this design. That top coat really helps. Um, because the chunky glitters of that nail polish were really prominent. Like, they really go on there. So if you want to try that um, nail polish out, you really should. Because I have a hard time with glitters on so many nail polishes that I really try not to get any of that. But anyway. So there you have it. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos and join me again this week where I hope to be doing an extra long acrylic nail design and hope that there's no rain for it. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.